Heading into a brand new year, we always have a ton of year-end wrap-ups that show up in various forms, hopefully better than most of you guys' Spotify wrapped playlists. But this, of course, includes the television and radio ratings that come out every single year so that we can find out who's doing the best on cable, who's doing the best on radio. And this year, interesting enough, we also have podcasts thrown into this category. So we go over to this chart. Now this is information that was shared from the Nielsen yearly ratings and also data from Spotify. And just looking at this man, this is unbelievable. When you see all the different news networks compared to one another, CNN ranking at the very, very bottom with not even a million viewers per television program. Tucker Carlson tonight has 3.24 million viewers per show. And Joe Rogan coming in clocking an insane whopping 11 million viewers per program. Now just taking this in, it is so fascinating, but also so telling as to which way the world is going when it comes to media. I think it's pretty safe to say that the average person who's connected, who's aware of things on the internet, who's, you know, knows different sources on the internet, most of these people are not watching traditional cable television. Now this brings up an interesting question and I'm curious to see what you guys think about this. If Joe Rogan is clocking five to seven times the amount of viewership as mainstream media, does this in fact make Joe Rogan mainstream media? I've seen this being debated on the internet today as this news came out and I think there really is something to that. You know, there becomes a certain point where the rage against the machine inevitably has to become part of the machine because it gets so big. And I mean, you know, I'm saying tongue in cheek there, but you could even look at the band I'm talking about and see the examples. There comes a certain point when it comes to someone's relevance and their influence where they get so, so big that even if it wasn't made to be mainstream or for the masses, again, it inevitably will become that. And personally, I think it's phenomenal. Look, I started listening to Joe Rogan at episode number 100. I haven't listened too much in the past couple years, but watching the growth that he's had, watching him make podcasting a household word, something that pretty much everybody knows what it is, almost single-handedly because of him, I think what he's done in terms of advancing not just mainstream podcasting, but mainstream media in general, is remarkable on a scale that I don't think we've ever seen before.